WFNN Headline News Update. Okay, everybody, this is Larry Pesavento with the TFNN update for the afternoon. And as we're looking at the market today, we have, as Basil Chapman would say, a bifurcated market in the indices. We've got the Dow Jones up about 100 points, the S&P's down about 70, and the, uh, excuse me, about 7, <laughs> and the uh, NASDAQ has been hit pretty hard. It's down 122, and the Russell is down 70. So that, that in itself is a pretty big, uh, pretty big run here. Let's say that is only seven in the Russell, not 70. Uh, we've got gold is very strong. It was up around $37 at one time. It's now trading at 18.18, and it is still up $17 on the day. We've got the gold and silver both up. We also have crude oils up over a dollar a barrel. Now, most of the markets in the uh, area of foreign exchange, we have the euro slightly higher. The pound and the yen are slightly lower, and the Canadian dollar is also higher along with the uh, Australian dollar. Excuse me, not the Australian dollar. Yes, the Australian dollar. Anyway, those are the ones that we're watching here today. The biggest news of the day is we had a tremendously bullish soybean report. It was up around 40 cents at one time, and it's now only up 4 cents. That's a, that's a huge move in soybeans. So evidently, the move was anticipated, and that's uh, pretty much what's happening uh, today. Remember, this is a shortened week. Uh, I'm not so much that we're taking time off, but the fact is that there's very little volatility coming in here until we hit the first of the year, and then it's going to go bonkers. So get ready, folks. You think we had a bonker year last year in volatility? Wait till you see what happens this coming year. It's going to be really, really exciting because this is a prelude of what we're looking at here. What the cause of it is, we don't know, but it doesn't make any difference. We just pay very close attention to it. So that's the key to what we're looking at here today. So how they end up, we'll have to wait and see. Right in the middle of the pack as far as prices today in the S&P and some of the others. So stay tuned, and we'll see how they end up at the end of the day. My guest today on my show, uh, Fibonacci 24-7, will be Bill Meridian out of uh, Vienna, Austria. We'll be talking about some of the trades to look for for 2023 can you believe that boys and girls 2023 i can't even hardly say it it's so cool <laughs> anyway we'll be right back 